Hi, this is Tom Malloy. Okay, just back from the EFM, the European film market. And today we're talking about the benefits of producing a niche movie. And what that means is like a particular niche or interest that uh, may, att may attract a specific audience. And it's very funny because there was a movie that came out called Terrifier uh, years back. And then they did Terrifier 2 last year and, and it was extremely successful. A movie that cost, you know, hundred thousand or under. I've heard different things on the budgets, uh, but made like ten million in the box office, right? And what it was is nothing crazy, like a some masterpiece and new horror or something like that. It was just went back to the old roots of like cut 'em up gore horror, you know, and just truly bloody and and, uh, <laughs> and crazy over the top been done for years but you know for a while with movies like hereditary elevated horror was the push right and so here's how hollywood kind of works and in the indie world and in the studio world it's all the same something comes out and is a hit and then everybody goes we need more of that right and so it's funny because owning a sales company we had some elevated horror and then terrifier 2 comes out extremely successful and I had so many buyers be like, well, we're looking for like bloody over the top horror. And it's like, wow, because that movie did so well. And that, you know, so they want more of those. But what I'm getting at is if you, prior to going into making a film, if you go, this is a specific niche, this is a, a vampire type horror movie, or this is a, um, a comedy that is a college audience comedy, like it's, it's for college students. The more that you can narrow that down, the more chances you have to get really successful in that niche. I mean, one of the great examples is Big Fat Greek Wedding, that when they first came out, I mean, it, truly, at the end of the day, it's just a romantic comedy, right? And uh, But it had all kinds of Greek elements into it, and when they started the film and they started kind of getting a Greek audience to come to the theater, that was a super smart marketing plan. So it was like, let's niche focus on, on the Greek audience. And then everybody started saying, this movie's really good. We got to come see, you know, so you got to check this out and blah, blah, blah. And it's really funny. And so a lot of times when you could focus on the niche audience and focus on the specific, then you can get to the next level. The one thing I'll say is trying to guess the next niche is very tough. You know, like say right now, I was like, okay, you know, Terrifier 2 was so hot, let me make a bloody horror movie and, and see what happens. It, the, I'm not saying it's guaranteed, but there's a, there's a very good chance that by the time it's done, bring it to market, they're going to be like, no, we want zombie movies now. Like zombie movies are hot. And it's, it's so tough to guess that. So my advice to you would be, what is the niche you're most passionate about? Like, what is something that you go, I always want to make this type of movie. And, you know, if you're, if that answer is edgy drama, okay, that's a little tougher to sell because it's, it, it, you know, it just doesn't play to a general audience as much. The key is the actual flip side of that is that if you can get a niche in a genre, horror, uh, thriller, comedy, action, uh, that actually might lead to a bigger audience ultimately because you started with that loyal, passionate fan base that gets into the movie and then makes it a huge success. Hey, thanks for watching. Just want to add, if you can like or comment below, that would be fantastic. You can also subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you ask a question, I will try to answer it as quickly as possible. But I hope you enjoyed these videos.